What exactly can be gained when someone we love passes away? What can we learn from that experience? Hey guys, this is Jeff from That Bold Life, your weekly encouragement to help you live a bold life for Jesus. All right, for those of you that frequent my channel, you probably noticed that Tuesday I did not have an upload. I missed my two minute Tuesday after promising all year long that those would be coming up in February, and I do apologize. With that said, Saturday morning, uh, my father passed away unexpectedly. And I, I appreciate all the prayers and support you can give myself and my family. We are going through an extremely hard time. But I want to share with you guys my my YouTube family, I want to share with you guys what I learned through this experience and, and what advice I want to give to you. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about who my dad was. Right here's this picture. He was a crazy old man, but he been crazy his entire life. He was truly one of a kind. He wasn't even my biological father, which means I had a whole lot of legal hoops to jump through whenever he did pass and I was the you know, technically next of kin, but not legally next to kin, and just a whole bunch of things happened with that. But he truly was a one of a kind man. He was the hardest working man I think I've ever met in my life. He came into my life. He, he got with my mother when I was six weeks old. Who does that? I had a six week old. That is crazy. But he stayed married to her for 25 years until she passed a couple years ago. And he passed on Saturday, February 10th three days after his birthday. I actually had already talked to him that morning, and 20 minutes later, I get the call that he'd collapsed. Incredibly hard time. But what can we learn from that? What do I have to share with you about that? Number one, I just wanna encourage you guys, put down your phone, get off your computer, go and spend some time with those closest to you. Even right now, don't watch another one of my videos. Don't click on another video, and YouTube's not gonna like me saying that. Just go and spend time with your loved ones. Because trust me, I want to play my Xbox. I want to binge watch videos on YouTube. I wanna binge watch Netflix. But I don't remember any of those times. You know what I remember? I remember my dad calling me in the middle of the night to go pick him up and take him to the store to get something to eat. I remember going and picking him up every Thursday, which is the day I'm recording this video, actually. We're gonna pick him up every Thursday to take and cash his check to go to Weigel's and to get a hot dog. I had context, my dad didn't drive. But I remember all those times, all those thought inconveniences, but those are the memories I have, and those are now the memories that I cherish. So I just wanna encourage you right now, whatever you're doing, if it's not spending time with those closest to you, it's not worth it. That those memories will fade. But you just, I want to encourage you. I want, to, I want you guys to go do this because I realize now that my chance is gone and I'm just grateful for the chances I did have and the encounters I did have. But go and spend time with your loved ones. Listen to their stories. Because some of my most cherished memories aren't even my memories. They're memories of my father's past and his childhood and his siblings and his nephews and and memories that my mom shared with me that what she happened to her when she grew up and those are some of my most cherished memories and my most cherished stories and one day they won't be available for you to hear put down your phone get off your computer go and spend time with your family and just listen try not to even talk just listen to their stories. That's what you should do today is go up to your mom or your dad or your grandma or your grandpa or someone older than you or someone younger than you and just ask them, hey, tell me about your childhood and just wait for the wealth of knowledge and hilarious stories that come out. Just listen to them as they tell you your stories because one day those stories aren't gonna be available to be heard. And trust me, there are some great stories there. So even in this time, I'm encouraged. I should say that I'm recording this video just five days after my dad passed away. But even now, I'm at peace. I'm encouraged. 
because you know what? Heaven just got a whole lot more interesting. You see, I know that my dad is crazy and as messed up as he was, he loved Jesus. I know that my mom, as amazing and kind as she was, she loved Jesus on top of it all. And I know that whenever I depart from this life and I move on, that I'm gonna be in their presence and I'm gonna get the chance and the opportunity to, to sit on that little white swing and, and to hear their stories once again. That's my encouragement, that's my hope, and that's why I can smile in this difficult situation. Because I know it's not goodbye, it is simply, see you later. I know that my mom and dad are together once again, which is all he ever wanted. He just wanted to be with that woman one more time. And he's with her. I know that today. And I'm encouraged to know that one day I'm gonna go and be with them. But I don't want you guys to miss your chance to hear those stories, to make those memories. Who do you love most? Go to that person. Let them know you love them and listen to the stories they can tell you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it encouraged you. I actually hope you don't even make it to this point. I hope that you've already clicked off and you have your arms around your mom or your dad or your grandma or your grandpa. I hope no one ever sees this part. If you did, go ahead and slap that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. All right, guys, love you. Love on your family. Love on those closest to you. And keep living that bold life.